guys, welcome back to another fabulous episode of Drink and Paint. I hope you are ready for it this Wednesday since it is the last Wednesday of the month. Like I said, I was going to be doing our very special Drink and Paint. And if you are new to this channel, hello, how are you? I hope you remember to hit the subscribe button so you can become part of our awesome family and learn more about these alcoholic drinks that we've been talking about at the pretty much the last week of the month. Um, there's some of my favorites, some of the new favorites. I think we've only got two episodes so far, so right now we're kind of rolling off my favorites. This is a brand new thing that I'm going to be talking about, even though it kind of is still in my woo house a little bit. But if you are my current subscribers, hi guys, welcome back. And I hope you've been enjoying the journey so far. Um, so for this, we'll go ahead and jump into the point of this video so we can start, so we can start sipping and enjoying. But um, for this purpose of this little craft video that we're gonna be doing is called Boomba, yeah, Boomba rum so this is a fabulous little rum that i discovered this past weekend as you can tell it's a little frozen because i've had it in the freezer just to get it nice and cold but for a moment let's just talk about the bottle from what we can really see let me clean off some of the ice there but um it's a very simple design it's a clear glass bottle it just has your label on the back for your information about the rum and then everything you need for your rum is actually in the little crossbones here which I thought was really really cute but um it's only 35 percent you know alcohol by volume and let's talk about the cork it's got the same design on it now this rum is supposed to have notes of cinnamon and allspice and some other nuts in it to me it tastes like bananas Oh, as you can tell, I've already delved into it, but it tastes like bananas. It's from Barbados. It's aged 15 years, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and I know they have this one, and I think one or two more. I got this one at my local Total Wine. It's the only one that they have. They have another one that's in an old black bottle, and it still has the same crossbones design on the front of it. But, um, yeah. Hang on. There you go. Okay. I was trying to see if there was any more details that I could see about it, but um, it says on the back, read you what's on the back, it says an authentic Caribbean wine. Boomba is masterfully blended by hand from island rums and native spices chosen from across the West Indies based on 16th century native recipes. Boomba reveals its history and craftsmanship in every sip. I will say it is, it's a, I think it was a Bermuda? No, Barbados, excuse me, Barbados. I don't know where the heck I got the meter from. But it's a Barbados based kind of rum. It's really, really good. It's really sweet, I think, and <clears throat> I love that sound. <laughs> I love that sound. I'm a rum drinker, so that is that is my sound. And it's appreciate my little my little mason jar I got here. Yeah, I I had to buy it. But let's pour this out a little bit. And you can see the color in it. It's really, really pretty. I'm not going to pour them much because I want you to be able to see the color of it. But as you can tell, it is a really amber kind of colored rum, which is, you know, distinctive of a very good rum. You know, it's not really a dark spice rum, but it is very light kind of rum. Now, like I said, it's supposed to have notes of cinnamon and different kinds of allspice and nuts in it. To me, I don't taste any of that. I can kind of taste the cinnamon a little bit, just a little bit, but to me, it tastes like bananas. I don't know why, but it tastes like bananas. I figured this would be good in like a banana nut bread. Like a, you know, kind of like a rum cake, but banana nut bread. It would be really good in that. Because it's, it's a very smooth and, it's very smooth and rich rum, but it's not overpowering. Yeah, see, again, I still get that banana bread kind of taste and I know I think it has um vanilla in it as well it's all natural vanilla but um so it's probably where I'm getting like the vanilla and the cake taste from I suppose but anyway that is our rum and I'm going to take this rum because I've been on a pirate kick recently I'm going to take this rum as inspiration for our lovely painting that we're going to be doing this evening so just sit back relax enjoy some of this rum if you have it handy if not you can pick it up at your local total wine um that's the only place that i know that you can buy it if i find any other links i will leave them down below but this is just something that i saw it got 
Oh, we found this one and then we found another one that I'm probably going to be doing in the next paint and drink episode. It it looks like an old pan. <laughs> it does. It looks like an old pan. We just pretty much went into Total Wine this last weekend and was like, ooh, what can we, what can we waste money on that's going to be yummy? So that's what we did. <laughs> you know, when you're bored on the weekends. Okay. And then we went to Miyabi's. So, yeah. But anyways, I will go ahead and cut from our lovely sipping drink that we're going to be doing this time and cut to our painting. Okay, so guys, here we are again with another paint and drink awesome little painting. And as you can tell, I have our bottle propped up so you can see what I'm drinking while I'm doing this and where my inspiration for this painting is coming from. So like I said, I'm going to do kind of a pirate themed and I think what I was going to do when I looked at the bottle and stuff was I had the idea of doing like a pirate ship kind of kind of painting so it might turn out like that it might not we will just have to wait and see at the end <laughs> but it looks like that's what I'm going with right now um now obviously I know what it is since I've you know I've kind of already done all this so this is the after recording but it's going to be a nice little surprise for y'all so if you just want to fast forward or I'm already fast forwarding through this for y'all but if you just kind of want to skip ahead to the end then you can check that out but um yeah so I'm just going to do the same technique I've been showing y'all or the same not really technique but the same style that I've been doing the last two drinking paints but this time it actually has more of a theme so hopefully y'all think it turned out pretty good I quite enjoy it although after I looked at it I there's a few other things that I want to add to it but that will be for later but anyways I will go ahead and stop blabbing and cut to the music and let y'all enjoy our nice evening with our lovely rum and hopefully a somewhat decent painting. So I hope y'all enjoyed this little drink and paint this time and I tried to do the painting a bit more themed along with our drinks. I know in our last two I didn't so I figured for this one since we are doing rum I would try to do like a little pirate ship out in the ocean. So that is what it turned out to be. I quite like it actually. It turned out a lot better than I thought it was going to because it's the first time I've actually ever painted a ship kind of thing. So <laughs> I was kind of, I was just I was playing is what I was doing. I was playing around with the paint, but it actually turned out a lot better than I thought it was going to. So that is really good. So yes, 
since we are drinking rum. No, why is the rum gone kind of thing? But um, actually it's not gone right now because I haven't drank it all. So I figured they'd go hand in hand together. So hopefully y'all enjoyed that. And like I said, go check this out. Now, I did buy this rum with my own money that I go to work for every day, which I think I'm gonna have to go in to work early in the morning. So I can't really drink that much of this. But um, this is $39.99, so it's about $40. It is a little expensive, but I mean, if you're already drinking like Captain Morgan and stuff, then you know, it's rum's not cheap. Well, and if you get cheap rum, it tastes like water with a little bit of rum. So I've had one of those before and I just, I should have just spent a little bit extra and got good rum is what I should have done. But anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this. Let me know down in the comments if you've ever had this kind of rum before and what kind of mixers that you do with it so far. I haven't mixed it with anything. I just kind of been drinking it straight. Um, and then I'm like, I'll drink like Dr. Pepper or something afterwards if I really need to, but so far i haven't looked up like any mixers or anything and it didn't come with any information about like what you could mix it with so i haven't played around with this that much but like i said for me it tastes like bananas for you it might taste different because it does have notes of like cinnamon and different types of uh, nuts in it and vanilla and um some allspice but like i said i didn't taste any of that i tasted a little bit of the cinnamon i tasted the vanilla but for me it tasted it tasted like bananas which you know for me if you're drinking rum they go hand in hand so hey but like i said some good uh, some good rum cake with this would be great like banana nut rum cake oh yeah i'm, I'm, I'm thinking i'm planning I might be doing this but anyways i hope y'all enjoyed this paint and drink for this week um just like i said let me know down in the comments if you've had this before and if you have any recommendations i'd love to hear it and feature it on our next month's drink and paint episode but um i hope y'all have a fabulous rest of the week thank you so much lovelies bye